If your Mac brain sometimes has 27 tabs open, three marked urgent, and one that says, wait, where did I write that down? Freeform in macOS Tahoe is that endless desk where you can dump every thought, and more importantly, actually pull it all back together later. Today, I'll walk you through a fully practical setup, how to turn Freeform into a board for plans, content, ideas, and tasks without drowning in chaos. And at the end, there's a quick bonus. Two fresh Tahoe editions that completely change how Freeform feels, including one unexpected lifesaver for when your board gets way too crowded. I don't use Freeform as a pretty inspiration board. I use it as a system. And the first step isn't writing rules, it's building a map. Because Freeform is infinite, but your attention isn't. I split the canvas into clear zones, ideas, script, references, and tasks. The moment those zones exist, the board stops feeling like an empty ocean and starts working like a floor plan. You open it and instantly know where everything belongs. Now I add one short instruction line so the board doesn't turn into a storage unit. This isn't about design, it's about workflow. For example, ideas is raw, script is curated, references is materials, to do is the next step. It sounds a little funny, but it works like a seatbelt. Even a month later, you'll open the board and instantly know how to use it, instead of guessing what yesterday you meant. Next, I do one simple thing that saves a lot of nerves. I lock the background. Anything that acts like the rooms of the board, sections, frames, big blocks, should be locked in place. Otherwise, one day you'll bump them by accident, the whole layout shifts, and you'll start thinking Tahoe broke freeform. Nope, not a bug. It's you. Verified. Once the background is locked, only the content moves, and life gets a lot calmer. Now, I fill each zone in the most practical way. In ideas, I dump everything. Topics, random thoughts, messy phrasing, weird titles, no filter. Because filtering ideas at the door is the fastest way to end up with no ideas at all. In script, I only move what I've chosen, the stuff that's actually going into production. In references, I collect screenshots, links, and examples. And in to-do, I don't keep a giant for the rest of my life list. I keep the next concrete action, Record the voiceover, capture the screen, make the thumbnail. Freeform starts working when it answers what's next, not how much do I still have to do. Grouping is a lifesaver once the script area starts filling up with chunks like scene one and scene two. Dragging a title, a few cards, arrows, and notes one by one is like moving apartments by carrying every brick separately. You can do it, but it's unnecessary pain. Grouping turns that cluster into one solid block, so you can reposition the entire scene in a single move without breaking the structure. All right, alignment is the simplest step with the biggest impact. Freeform can easily drift into creative chaos, but the moment your cards line up, your brain reads the board like an organized system, not a mood journal. It genuinely speeds things up. You scan faster, you find what you need faster, and you always know where everything lives. And as a bonus, the board suddenly looks intentional, not like you were just trying to survive. The next step is connections and arrows. And no, this isn't for decoration, it's for logic. Once you connect your blocks, you can actually see the route. Hook, problem, solution, demo, finale. Suddenly, it becomes obvious where the video drags, where you jump over an important step, and where you're repeating yourself. Arrows are like road signs inside your script. They keep you from taking random detours and ending up with a 19-minute video that never really lands. References are where Freeform starts beating folders, notes, and I'll remember it later. I stopped keeping materials somewhere in bookmarks or somewhere in the chat. In Freeform, everything can sit together. The image, the link, and a quick note on why it matters and where it belongs in the script. So you're not hunting for assets anymore. You open the board and the whole project is right there in front of you.
Once the board grows, a new problem shows up, navigation. That's where scenes save you. You bookmark the key areas and jump between them like chapters, ideas, script, tasks, final. No endless scrolling and no feeling like you got lost inside your own brain. This is the moment the infinite canvas stops being intimidating and starts being genuinely useful. If you're not working solo, Freeform becomes a shared space. One person drops in references, another leaves edits, a third marks tasks. And instead of a hundred messages saying, send that link again, you build one simple habit. Everything lives where it's supposed to. You open the board and you've got the materials, the structure, and the next actions, all in one place. And at the end, I'll show you two Tahoe upgrades that make Freeform feel a lot more grown up. First, tables. You can drop a clean table right onto the canvas and use it to organize your chaos. A content plan, a shot list, a production checklist, even a simple comparison grid. And the best part, tables feel native to the board and the cells adapt as you add real content. So it doesn't feel like you're forcing a spreadsheet into a creative space. Second, table controls and styling. You can add or remove rows and columns, keep everything evenly spaced, and make the whole layout look intentional in seconds. It's the kind of structure that keeps a big board readable without turning your workflow into accounting on a napkin. And that's the real goal here. Freeform isn't just a place to throw ideas. It's a place to keep them visible, connected, and actually finish what you started. If this helped, hit like and subscribe, and tell me in the comments how you'd use Freeform content planning, studying, projects, or just keeping your life from turning into 27 tabs. See you in the next one.